Hello everyone and welcome to Harvest Moon Sky Tree Village. I am Siri, the pixel biologist, and in my quest to enjoy all games that have anything to do with plants and animals, we are also diving into my favorite series, the Harvest Moon series, which is very near and dear to my heart. Harvest Moon 64 was one of the very first video games that truly claimed my little gaming heart when I was very, very young. And I have loved the Harvest Moon series and the Rune Factory series and the Story of Seasons series ever since and this is the brand new addition to the harvest moon family tree sky tree village i know almost nothing about the game because i have tried very hard to leave everything as a surprise for myself i happen to know that there is a new donkey and that's about it so let's go ahead and jump on in and see what sky tree village has to offer all right, we are going to go ahead and make a new game. Ooh, there's downloadable content. All right, we're going to play as a girl. <gasps> Look at her cute little green shirt. Oh, I'm so excited. How'd she know my favorite color? And we're going to make our birthday spring 26th because my real life birthday is March 26th. So, so let's go ahead and go with that. Yes, my birthday is spring 26th. That'll work out perfectly. And my name is Siri. There we go, Siri. There we go. Siri is an okay name. Yep, the name Siri is definitely okay. And let's do it. All right. <laughs> Look at the donkey. Oh my gosh. Oh, donkey babies. They were so cute. Did you guys see those? Oh my goodness. Is this like a wasteland? <gasps> what happened to those trees? I see dead trees. This is not going to do. This is not going to do. We're going to have to fix this. Somebody give me a watering can. Is that me? Am I lost in the desert? <laughs> What's happening here? What's this? It kind of looks like a Minecraft Minecraft Mesa, actually. That's what it's making me think about. Am I going to die of thirst? I just got started. I haven't even been given my grandfather's abandoned farm yet, as is tradition. How did you manage to make it this far on foot? This is a forgotten land. The power of the harvest goddess no longer reaches here. Who are you? Adorable little... Oh, is that a tiny little harvest sprite? I kind of see him. He's kind of like a little radish harvest sprite. But he also looks like a Pikmin. So <laughs> it's like harvest sprites and Pikmin uh, kind of merged together. Anyway, but I shall take you to see the harvest goddess herself. Perhaps you are the one who will be able to bring life back to this parched land. Do you have some water? I don't want to die. I'm a little plant myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, that donkey. I am in love with that donkey. <gasps> I know this music. Am I am I coming before the harvest goddess herself? Oh my gosh. What happened to her tree? <gasps> you guys, it's the harvest goddess herself and she looks as beautiful as ever. Oh my goodness. Da da da! Your harvest goddess is here! This is so cool. So tell me, what is your name? Oh my gosh, she's so pretty! Oh, look at her skirt! You can see her skirt is actually moving, just like a beautiful flow of water. Oh, that's so lovely. Siri, you said? Well, thank you for coming here, Siri. Too bad you can't marry the harvest goddess in this one. I would bring her flowers every day. Why is this land all dried up, you ask? Well, that's a long story. First of all, I, as you know, am the Harvest Goddess. And this land was once lush and prosperous, thanks to my powers. People were grateful for the blessings that I bestowed upon the land. They lived here happily, until... They started to take it for granted that the land yielded such bounty, they forgot to be appreciative towards me. When I was no longer receiving enough power of caring for my people, my own powers were drained. As a result, the land grew dry and barren, as you can see now. Once the land was parched, everyone moved away. I no longer have a fraction of the power it would require to restore the lushness of the land to what it once was. She's got a lot of water here, though. Maybe it's not power and it's just hard work, ma'am. <laughs> what can be done about it? All right, our good traditional start. The sky trees would have to be revived, of course. You'd be willing to help do that? I wonder how. <laughs> how sweet of you. You have to thank your heart. You have the thanks of your harvest goddess, Siri. I was about to say, if she was going to say, you'll have to thank your harvest goddess for the opportunity. I was going to have an issue with that. 
<laughs> You've given me a boost with your power of caring. Now, this may be very interesting. I kind of like the idea already that it isn't directly caring for the harvest goddess, but maybe caring for the land itself, too. Like caring in general, caring for your neighbors, caring for your creatures, caring for your friends, caring for the other villagers. Maybe it's actually the entirety, like everything about caring that matters to the harvest goddess. And it's not just like, oh, yay, thank you, harvest goddess directly. That would make more sense to me. And it is possible to take a lot of things for granted. <gasps> What's happening? What is it? What is it? Oh my gosh, what is it? Oh, so pretty. Did she get a little bit of boost from the fact that I decided to care for the land? Maybe. She's so pretty. I love that skirt. I wonder if maybe if she becomes my friend, I can have one of her skirts. I have heard you can make clothing out of the donkey fur. <gasps> the little tree's happy. It's a very lovely little tree. It kind of reminds me of those giant trees in Africa. Oh, and it has a little baby. Rowan! Oh, I just had a son named Rowan! Rowan! I just had a son named Rowan, not in real life, but in Stardew Valley. We just finished our first season of Stardew Valley, and my son's name is Rowan in that game. And here we have a Rowan right here. Oh my gosh, this is where Rowan is going. This is so cute. Thank you for offering to help. I know you can make a huge difference. My name is Rowan. I'm a harvest sprite. What's your name? Siri! Very nice to see you. Siri, got it. Nice to meet you. In my land, uh, grow seven mighty sky trees. When all seven sky trees have been revived, my powers will be fully restored. And then I will be able to bring the lushness and fertility of this land back. All right, we're on it. We've got this, Harvest Goddess. But the only thing that can revive the power of sky trees, or the revive the sky trees, is the power of caring. And I think she means caring about everything, not just her. So here's what I need you to do, Siri. Draw the people of the town here. Oh, wow, I don't even get to start with the town this time. If you tend the soil and make the land green again, the people of town will return. Oh, this is kind of cool if I have to start up. Oh, look at her little smile. Thank you, Siri. Now let me give you this. If I have to start up from literally nothing in the middle of nowhere, that would be kind of cool. Oh, wow, she's got like some tools just floating in the air there. Thank you, ma'am. Rowan, I am, ass I am assigning you to help Siri. That is so adorably ironic. You can count on me, Harvest Goddess. Well, Siri, let's get started on some farming. All right, let's go. Bye, Harvest Goddess. Could you spare a little water for outside? Maybe I could, like, divert this a little bit. Request. Oh, you can get multiple requests, huh? Save the Harvest Goddess. The Harvest Goddess lost her power. Revive the seven sky trees to get it back. Got it. This way, Siri. Come on. I am so tickled that little Rowan is the harvest sprite. I just, I have, oh, that donkey. It's so cute and it has a baby donkey next to it. <gasps> Whoa, where am I? Oh man, I feel like that's one of the Mario pipes. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's the Minecraft Mesa and the Mario pipes and it's just really fun. Look at that, a touch of green has returned to the land and it's all thanks to your promise to help revive the sky trees, Siri. And I think that's, again, reflective of, like, just caring in general. Now, let me teach you how to farm. All right, on it. Whenever you want to do something to the soil, press the Y button. The squares around you will light up and the bottom screen will change. On the bottom screen, the action you can perform on the square you are facing will be displayed. By choosing till, you can choose, the, you can turn the square of land into a field. What are you waiting for? The sooner you get some of the land around here tilled, the better. All right, so we're going to try that out, but I think I need to go down to the green land. Use your hoe to till the land. Received. A hoe can be used to till the land. Whoa! Look at me. Can I turn the camera somehow? Or is this just... Oh my gosh. Hi, Rowan. Oh, what about this land? This is perfect. It's green land right here. Okay, so where's my gear? All right. Oh, and I just need the A button to till. Okay, got it. All right, um, A? A? Okay, wait, hmm. I think I need, oh, there we go. Oh, I have to open it up and then I can tell. I've got it, all right. And so then it'll show you like what squares you can till in. Yay, tilt the land. Oh gosh, everything is like so excitable. <laughs> 
Thanks, Siri. Now you can grow crops and plants by sowing seeds in the field you till. Tilled. For sowing seeds, you don't use the Y button. Instead, face the field you want and press the A button. If you're having trouble seeing the field, press the L button or the... Oh, that's how you rotate. When you want to focus on field work, press the start to switch views to make it easier to see. You can also sow up to nine seeds at once in a three by three field by holding down the A button. Give these techniques a try. Oh, he's so informative. Yay, we have some seeds. You can switch to overhead view mode by pressing start. Press start again and you can face the direction you, okay, good, okay, all right, got it, got it. I think, I maybe. Okay, let's see if I can do this. <gasps> dun, 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 I got cabbage seeds, all right. Um, and let's see, so if I swap the camera, oh cool, so this is just to like make it a little bit easier. Uh, what if I want to till? Yeah, okay, then you just swap over to Y. Okay, that's not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. All right, I would like to sow a cabbage seed. One cabbage seed, two cabbage seed, and then if I swap back to farming, okay, that's farming view, yeah, three cabbage seed, and four cabbage seed. Dun, dun, dun. How about that, Siri? You're a natural at farming. Yay, I'm glad you think so, little guy. Oh, he's so tiny. I just think he's like my son before he like was born in Stardew Valley. I can't, I can't deny it. But if you don't water your seeds, they will wither. If they wither, then you'll have to clear them away using the A button. Well, then I'd also have to get more seeds, wouldn't I? You can get water from the well. With the first sky tree having been revived, it, there's finally water again. Wow, you just needed one person to like come and actually care. I guess it shows you how one person can make a difference. Okay, so now we're going to go get water from the well. Here's the little well. All right. Yay! Man. Goodness, I feel like I just like achieved the impossible when the music goes off like that. All right, let me go ahead and water. All right, and I think you can actually... Haha, -ha, not bad, not bad. I think that you can actually either upgrade your watering can or I've heard the watering can like automatically upgrades. 200! I have 200 water in my watering can now. Oh my gosh, the music when it goes off. Everybody is so happy. Thanks, now your crops will grow. When the soil dries out, you'll need water again. And when, you, when your watering can runs out of water, you'll need to go fill it up at the well. Once your crops have grown, you can harvest them with the A button. Won't that be exciting? That will be exciting. Now, Rowan, now that we've managed this much, I do think I need to talk about somewhere to like sleep and maybe somewhere to like eat. Siri, I have high hopes for you that you can revive the sky trees and restore the land to its former lushness. Well, it's wonderful, Rowan, but I probably need somewhere to actually sleep. There are six more sky trees that have withered. Only the power of caring can revive the sky trees. He's so cute and I just want to pinch his little cheeks. My little harvest bright sun. When the townspeople return to the land, the power of caring will accumulate so that more people who help out, huh? I can understand that. If you find seeds, you should try growing them in your fields. Do you mean, <gasps> can I go rustle around inside of grasses and look for random seeds? Is that what you're implying, Rowan? The greener things get around here, the more townspeople will be drawn to the land. That sounds awesome. You're so cute. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be great. Man, you guys really just needed, like, one person to wander by, didn't you? Uh-oh, Siri, you're getting really tired from doing all this farm work. You need to get some rest. That's right, Rowan, that's exactly what I was saying. I am human. I understand if you're a little harvest sprite. I know a nice place you can stay. Follow me. Oh, good. I was really worried if we weren't taking care of the, the basics like this. This way, Siri, come on. All right, off we go. Oh, he's so cute. Let's waddle after him. Okay, so he went between those stones. <gasps> it's that donkey again! Where's her baby? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so he wandered between these stones over here. Oh, donkey. Oh, it's a cute little house. This house is all yours now, Siri. Man, you guys are really going all out for me. No one has lived here for a long, long time, so you can move right in. It is a bed, dresser, refrigerator, and a kitchen. All for you to use however you want. <laughs> They're really making it easier to get started. It used to be you had to like, I will admit I like the, the way of roughing it from the bottom, inheriting your grandfather's rundown old farm and having to build up from there. But I think this lets you jump more into the active, like rapid gameplay. So we'll see how it turns out. Well, don't just stand there. Go on in and check out your new home, Siri. <gasps> Are there cherry blossom trees all around my house? We're at Radiant Hill. So this is my new home. It has a bunch of cherry blossoms around it, which I think are really awesome. It's got plenty of grass, so I don't know what's up with everywhere else being so, so empty and barren. Siri, wait up. I still have more I need to tell you. 
Okay, okay, we need to go inside of our little house then. It's really cute. I bet they cleaned it up for me. That's where all the other harvest sprites were while Rowan was showing me around. Wow, you already get to start with all this stuff? I am so spoiled. All right, if they're making it this easy for me, then that means I gotta work hard. I wonder where I came from. Hmm. You like the place, right? Isn't it cozy? Don't hesitate to go to sleep because it will get busy soon and you'll want to be in tip-top shape. When you wake up, it will be morning and your crops will have grown. That quickly? All right, little one. By the way, the top of your screen, you can see some heart icons. Notice how you've lost a few hearts? No. The hearts represent your stamina and your, uh, your stamina, Siri. Working in the fields or walking a long way will use up stamina. If you get down to zero hearts, you'll faint. So don't push yourself too hard. Next to your heart icons, you'll see face icons, right? They'll show you your health. If you want to stay up late at night or push yourself so hard you faint, you won't be as healthy the next day. And if your health is low, you'll lose hearts faster. When you're in poor health, you need to take it easy and get to bed early. All right, little one. I will come to warn you if you're staying up too late or endangering your health. Oh my gosh, he really is my precious little Harvest Bright son. <laughs> I did not anticipate, like, oh, him. Oh. Okay, X button to open your menu and select save load to save your progress. You can review anything that I taught you by checking out the bookshelf in your house. So that's where you got it, huh? Must be reading those books for years waiting for someone to come by. It's been a long day and you must be tired, but I get some sleep. Tomorrow you and I will be ready to get, we'll really start to get some work done. But for now, good night and sweet dreams. All right, I am on it, little guy. And off he goes. Okay, so I see the smiley face. So that's my stamina. It'll let me know if I get kind of tired. And I see the heart. So that's like my endurance. And then it looks like I have a drawer. Oh my gosh. So we've got a lot of space to store things, it seems. Noted. We have the ability to change hairstyles and to change clothes. Noted. Okay. Donkey. Oh my gosh, the donkey. We have a refrigerator to put in food and take out food. So far, this feels a lot easier and kind of like simplified. Um, but again, we haven't jumped in just yet compared to the harvest moons I'm used to and a little bit more. I'm not sure about age range wise, but we'll see. We'll, we'll still enjoy ourselves. Don't you worry. All right. So all of the things in average day, your day starts with you waking up in the morning and ends with you going to sleep at night. Depending on what time of day it is, various people will come to visit you. Your pets and animals will also go to sleep at night. So yeah, if this is your first harvest moon, remember there's lots of different flavors of harvest moon. And this one I think is aimed more for a younger audience, but I could be terribly wrong because now we're getting to complex things like water drainage so who knows this will be very interesting to see i wonder what kind of things we can use changing camera okay so we're starting to learn a few things on tips and let's go ahead and climb into bed yes we'll go ahead and sleep for the day and we'll get some rest <sighs> and we'll just have to see what the next day brings that donkey i really want to get that donkey <gasps> I dreamed of someone new coming to town. I wonder who it will be. Hmm. Okay, bright new day. I wonder where town is. Rowan, my son! Heads up, Siri. Someone just showed up in town. You better go see who it is, Siri. To get to town, walk out of your house in the direction opposite of your fields. Oh, he's so excited. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go greet the new person. We're also new. Donkey! Oh my goodness, we're also new. Hopefully they'll have some seeds for us. And this will be our first glimpse of town, the town that we are going to try to put back together as well. Oh my gosh, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. Sky Tree Village, eh? Wow, it's really on the lovely cliffside. Okay, there's a building down there. Okay, okay. And there's a little fountain. So I guess the more we take care of town, the more people will start moving in. Got it. Rowan, have you introduced yourself, Rowan? That's what's polite to do. There used to be so many humans living in this town. It was full of life and a great place to live. But then the land dried up and the crops wouldn't grow anymore. So all the humans moved away. Well, it, it's already looking better because it's green over here. There's no water at the fountain, though. Looks like someone over at the fountain. We better go and see. Okay, okay. Hang on, Rowan. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run on down. I'm going to startle them. There we go. Come on. Hello, new people. 
Welcome to town! Just care about me, I'll care about you, and it'll all be okay. That's what that's what the harvest goddess said. Don't be frightened. <laughs> Strange woman barreling out of the mountain saying these things. Ah, oh, well. Carol, your father always talked about this land. He said it was so lush. He wanted to grow his own flowers for a living here. But just look. I hope that the mysterious seedling your father left with us, which wouldn't grow anywhere else, would grow here. <laughs> Don't be discouraged, Mom. I don't know how the land got all parched like this, but we'll get the flowers growing here one way or another. Oh, Dean. Alright, looks like... What's going on over here? Hello, hello. Well, where did you come from? I thought this was a complete ghost town. Well, I actually came from the mountains. I, I don't know where I came from before that, though. I may have lost my memory wandering in a desert, and then I met a harvest sprite who's actually my son from another universe. But how are you doing today? My name's Dean. I'm a florist by trade. This is my mother, Carol. A florist! That's awesome! I love flowers, too! Your name's Siri? Nice to meet you. Is my name Siri? <laughs> How'd we end up here? That's a long story. Oh? It must be a long story. And so here we are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the land is dry and dead. It's tough to see how we'll get flowers growing here. The land looks really nice to me. There's lots of cherry trees. Optimism. Optimism, Dean. We gotta care about each other. You really mean that? You're going to make the land lush and green again? Yes, I have no idea how beyond caring. Now that's inspiring. Okay, I'm gonna help you do it. <laughs> it really does feel like one of the youngest Harvest Moons I've played, but it's quite quite entertaining so far, so we'll keep going. Wouldn't it be... <laughs> Especially because Carol looks like she might be one of those people who might like pass away during the game. That's happened in the past. A wonderful life, I'm looking at you. Very difficult to, to make green, green things grow again in this parched land. Oh, I see. I guess it's true that you never know unless you try. I have no idea what lies I'm telling them, but apparently it's nothing about the Harvest Goddess. I will also pitch in whenever I can. I'm glad we fellow residents of the village uh, will be fellow residents of the village from now on, Siri. Primarily because there's just three of us in the entire village. Do we need to like stage a, a vote to get things done? I'd like to give you some flower seeds in honor of making your acquaintance. Thank you! Oh my gosh, do they have like little laundry hanging outside their house? That's so cute. If you can get them to grow into flowers, make sure you bring them to show us. I will be happy to, ma'am. Yay! Flowers for Carol! Carol's not feeling her well. Give her some flowers to cheer her up. Alright, so that'll be one of our next big goals. And we have some, some new seeds. I can't even read what kind of seeds there are. But they're really, really cool. Can I see all the stuff I have now? Okay, so this is like all the information about the different the different quests I have and the different quests I have fulfilled. <gasps> There's so much information! When did this when did this all hit here? This is so cool. Request. So that's how I look at my request. And then we have stuff in our bag. Where's the bag? <gasps> dun dun dun! We have Marjorie seeds. So we'll go ahead and use them on the field. And we'll, we can store them in a drawer. And we'll have to try growing them. All right, I had no idea there was that much information, but we're gonna get started, you guys. So it is early in the morning. It is actually 6 a.m. on spring the 2nd. We are here in our empty ghost town. I have no idea how we are going to bring people back in, but we're going to do our best. There's no river or anything like that. The cherry blossom trees, at least, are growing quite well. And uh, I guess that's an inn right here. So we'll have to see what happens with Dean. Hello, Dean. My mom really loves Marguerite, or Marguerite's, so please grow some for her. I will work on that, and Carol? It's just the season for Marguerite's now, but the land has become so desolate that I guess... Hang in there, Carol. Hang in there. All right. So here is the very first episode of Skytree Village, you guys. Like I said, so far, I'm pretty surprised at how it seems pitched towards more of a younger audience than usual. But I think everything will be okay. And when we come back, we're going to have to check in on our tiny little cabbages. And hopefully we can plant these like flower seeds because Rowan is very, very excited about it. All right. It's one day at a time. And I really, really like the idea that it is just all to do about caring about each other, caring about the land, and that's what's going to fix it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.